Hello everyone, this is Marguerite Cravat and we're on our Gulf Coast journey and we want to thank you so much for following us. The video you're about to see, you are going to be shocked. Here's how things began. We had our cameras out, shooting as usual. We walked over these beautiful beaches, and at first, everything looked normal, except for the fact that the beaches were deserted, and this was the 4th of July weekend. Now, when we took a closer look, this is what we saw. Now, if you see these white tents, these tents are where they have all the workers. You can see trucks, porta potties, coolers and workers everywhere. There's the tents down there. Bunch of camps thrown all along the beach. Dang. Used to be white, but now they're brown and speckled black. Do you have a stick, Paula? I don't want to touch it, but I want them to see how gooey this crap is. Now, on the way back from the beach, we saw ambulances and fire trucks with flashing lights. So we knew someone was hurt and we wanted to find out more, so we rushed over to the scene. Now, notice how most of these guys put their backs to us. And notice this guy's badge, how he has it turned around. What happened? Somebody get hurt? Now, right here, the security guy just is trying to shut us down and tell us that we can't film here, we can't be here, and we can't have our cameras. You can't. I'm on American soil, and this is public property, and I have the right to do it. All right. Yes. Someone got hurt? Now, watch this guy, how he reacts and how he shakes his head, indicating, no, everything's okay. Get hurt? Then how can we have an ambulance? How can we have we people have in here? How can we have two ambulances and lights going? Oh, a precaution. Oh, a precaution. Now look how they kind of put a barricade around us to block us off. But I thought you said it was precaution. It is. If nobody's in there, then how am I going to shoot no, anybody? in there, but it's their privacy, so... Oh, so somebody is in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we have more paramedics arriving on the scene, so obviously they can't continue the live, that nobody's in there, it's just a precaution. So they own up to the fact that somebody has been hurt. They're calling people to get rid of me. I'm staying with it. I'm not leaving. Now notice how very diligent they are about keeping their backs to the camera and blocking what anybody could possibly record. Here's the police of Gulf Shores. Let's see if they give us a hard time. Okay, take a look to your far right and see the lady who's walking into the shot. That's my producing partner, Paula Major. Okay, now, this is where things really get ugly. And even right now, I feel my heart rate going up and I feel that same panic all over again. This is where the policeman yells at me and he's trying to get my attention, but I'm not willing to engage, so I just ignore him. Watch what happens. I act like I don't hear him. Now, when you look at this video, it looks like this is one of the BP guys. He just went over and told the police officer what to do, and so this is what happens next. Okay, now the footage you're looking at now is from my partner Paula's camera, her little handheld. And notice how far we are from the scene, and no one's around us, and we're not bothering anybody. Hey! Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm just fine. Good. What's going on? Uh, nothing. I'm just watching, trying to find, figure out what's going on. Well... They have a medical emergency over here. That's what I... Uh-huh. That's not what they told me. Well, what difference does it make what they told you? Exactly. Well, you don't want people lying to you, do you? What difference does it make? What, what difference does it make if yes, people lie to you? Yes, ma'am. What, well, I mean... Well, what how would an American know the truth? What is it? What are you doing? I mean, what are you doing? Why does it I'm matter? Sorry. I'm an American. I'm on American soil, and I have a camera. I'm a tourist. I'm taking pictures of everything going on. Well, we'll take pictures of everything going on. Right now, they have a medical emergency, and you're interfering with what's going no, on. No, I'm not. I'm over here. I'm out of their zone. Well, uh-uh. Look at here. Zone. Look at... Oh, here comes another ambulance. So... But how can I have another ambulance? Now, I want you to notice from Paula's camera how this police officer is corralling me, using his size, and has me almost uh, backed up against this fence. I'm not impeding. You videotape me. Well, I've got I'm everything. I'm videotaping you as well. So I'm asking but she's not interfering. We're not interfering. I'm asking you to step back. I want you to listen to my voice and the pitch. 
you can tell I'm beginning to panic here and I'm not even fully coherent in what I'm saying I just throw out words and phrases uh, Constitution of the United States free speech American and even watching it now I can I can feel the panic returning Go down that way toward the board. no I'm not going down that way this man is harassing me Who's he's stopping you? my opportunity of free speech the no, Constitution of the I United States and I'm walking away. They don't have anything up over here. They don't have any markers up that say you can't come in. That security guy right over there told me so long as I stayed behind the boundaries that, that everything correct. would be okay. And I'm asking you to back up and let these people take care of their business. What am I doing? You're not doing what Who, I look, who's you. around you? Who's around you're you? You're not doing what I ask you. Why do I have to do what you ask me to do? Because I'm, I'm American. an American citizen. Oh, well, that's good. Be an American citizen and go down there and do what I ask you to do. I'm doing it. Uncooperative with what I ask you to do. Yeah, but by what authority do you have? I have an authority to make sure that these people get their job done. I want them to get their job done. That's I good. don't want anybody hurt. So if you would be my, so kind to step back down this way and let them do How far business. away do I have to be? They can't even see me. I'm out of the zone. I asked you to step down here and you're not I doing did. what I did. I've been walking backwards for 10 minutes. Not 10 minutes. I ain't been here for 10 Well, minutes. it feels like it. It's hot enough. Well, if it's hot, go find you a shade somewhere. Well, I'm all right here. Oh, you're okay here, but you're not doing what I asked you to do when it's hot. But you're not my dad. I'm not asking to be your dad. Good. I'm a law enforcement officer in this city, and I'm asking you to do what I tell you to do. Well, you can't just tell people what to do. There's laws. There is laws. That's why I'm not... And I'm not breaking the law. Not, why don't you I'm call your boss and let me talk to your boss? Okay, here's the big conclusion. Now, what happened next really surprised me. Because I was in this full-blown panic attack, I didn't even notice what happened until I reviewed this footage. Now watch what happens. My boss has a telephone. If you want to talk to him, call him and talk to him. Well, I don't have my phone. What's his number? You Do you have your phone? He's in the car. Go call him. When we threatened to call his supervisor, he walked away. Okay, somebody is in it and they're taking him away. Worker sick. Worker is sick. Worker is sick. Look how they're all crowding around. Well, that was quite an ordeal that Paul and I had to go through that day. Besides my panic attack, the thing that bothered me the most about this entire incident is the early conversation I had with the officer about the truth. For me, his underlying message was, because I'm a nobody, uh, a small person, as Tony Hayward may suggest, I had no right to know the truth. Now, even though I felt really bullied and mistreated by this man, I still respect the police. I appreciate what they do, and I wouldn't want to live in a world without them. But police officers who don't care if I'm told the truth, they frighten me. Huh? That's not what they told me. Well, what difference does it make what they told you? Exactly. Well, you don't want people lying to you, do you? What difference does it make? What, do what difference does it make if yes, people lie to you? Yes, ma'am. What? Well, I mean. Well, how would an know? American know the truth? What does it? What are you doing? I mean, what are you doing? Why does it I'm matter? Sorry. What, what difference does it make if yes, people lie to you? Yes, ma'am. What? Well, I mean. Well, how would an American know the truth? What does it? What are you doing? I mean, what are you doing? Why does it I'm matter? Sorry. What, what difference does it make if yes, people lie to you? Yes, ma'am. What? Well, I mean. Well, how would an American know the truth? What, is it, what are you doing? I mean, what are you doing? Why does it matter? Now?